Welcome back to Taxes Made Simple. Today we're gonna to go over LLCs. We're discussing today top five write-offs for LLCs. Now, there could be a number of reasons why you decided to start an LLC. Maybe you're a new business owner, maybe you just started earning 1099 income and someone told you you need some type of entity structure, maybe you're a truck driver, maybe you even wanna invest in a rental property and you wanna get an LLC for asset protection. Well, if that's you today, today we're just gonna go over the top five tax strategies for LLCs to put you in a better position. Number one, startup and organizational costs. As a new business owner, chances are you are gonna have startup costs and organizational costs. Startup costs and organizational costs could be in the form of marketing, advertising, maybe you've already established your website, or maybe you spent some money on getting some training and some coaching before you decided to establish your business. Anytime that you have cost before you're considered operational, they're considered startup costs and operation costs. And you as a business owner are able to take $5,000 in your first year as startup costs or organizational costs. Let's just say that you spend more than $5,000 on getting your business set up. Any expense that exceeds $5,000 is amortized over the course of 180 months. So as a business owner, you still get to benefit from some of those costs that you had that exceeded $5,000. Be very mindful of this when you file your tax returns that you make sure that you include all of your startup costs and all of your organizational costs for your small base business. Number two, the home office deduction. In the year of 2020, we were faced with a pandemic. If you're watching this video right now, chances are you probably lived through it. So let's talk a little bit more about the tax deductions you can take as a small base business owner. One of the biggest tax write-offs is the home office deduction. Most small base business owners are working from their home. So how do we go about taking this home office deduction? Well, it's simple. If you have a designated space in your home or a designated room in your home that you're doing business in that is strictly for business, you can take that space and leverage that space as a home office deduction. Here's how it works. You start off by getting the square footage of your home office space or your home office. Once you have that square footage, you are gonna divide your home office space or your home office by the entire square footage of your entire home. When you do this calculation, you are gonna receive a percentage. This percentage will be your home office percentage based on the utilities that you have in your home. Utilities could include your water, cable, electricity, and gas bill. These all go into your home office expenses. Anytime that you are making repairs or maintenance or doing improvements to your home office, these can also go down as a part of your home office expense. This is another way for business owners to benefit from some of the changes that they plan on making in their home as a part of their home office. Number three, the vehicle deduction. As a business owner, you could travel to meet with your clients and chances are your vehicle is gonna be used for your business. How do we go about making sure that that vehicle that's used for your business is leveraged the right way? There are two different ways in which you can determine to take a vehicle deduction inside of your LLC. One way is by taking the mileage. When you are a business owner, you have the ability in the year of 2020 to take 58 cents per every single mile you drive. For many Uber, Lyft, and truck drivers, mileage is extremely important because they are tracking their mileage on various different apps called Mile IQ, or even QuickBooks has a way for you to track your mileage on your cell phone. Being able to track every business mile you take is important so that you're getting all of your deductions. Just think about it, 58 cents for every single mile you drive, that can add up extremely quickly. The second way for a business owner to take a vehicle deduction is by depreciating their vehicle inside of their business. A vehicle depreciates over the course of five years. If you purchase a vehicle that's $50,000, this would result in a $10,000 write-off each year if you were to take a straight line depreciation. 
there are different methods in how you can depreciate a car. You can choose to do a double declining method that allows for you to accelerate a portion of your depreciation so you are getting a bigger write-off with your vehicle as opposed to waiting the entire five years to take all of the $50,000. There's also the code section 179 that allows for you to take a business deduction for a vehicle that weighs over 6,000 pounds all in one year. So if you happen to purchase a vehicle that weighs over 6,000 pounds, you can write off the entire vehicle in your business through your LLC in the same year, reducing your taxes immediately. Let's discuss marketing and advertising. No business runs without getting customers through the door. If you are in business, whether you're selling services or you're providing products, you're gonna to need to market those services or those products and you're gonna to need to advertise them. Marketing and advertising are two of the biggest expenses that most business owners have because it's how you're able to create consistent income within your organization. When you are having marketing and advertising going out, whether it's flyers, website, SEO, this is a business expense that you get to take every single year through your LLC. When you are spending money on marketing and advertising, these are immediate expenses. These expenses do not have to be amortized over time or depreciated over time. So rather than having to take marketing and advertising as an expense like a vehicle over five years, you are able to write off your marketing and your advertising in the exact same year that you spend the money on your marketing and advertising. As long as they're not considered startup or organizational costs, you will have no problem expensing 100% of your marketing and your advertising through your LLC. And number five, turning your LLC into an S corporation. When your business grows to the point when the benefits outweigh the cost to switch your LLC to an S corp, you will eliminate a 15.3% of self-employment tax that many LLCs and sole proprietors pay into. Not to mention, you will be able to take a deduction when you decide to place yourself on payroll because an S corporation requires that the business owner pays themselves out of their business. It's one of the many benefits to being a business owner, being able to control the income you pay yourself and control the amount of income your tax gap. One of the many benefits to being in an LLC is that you can choose to tax yourself as an LLC, you can choose to tax yourself as an S corporation, or you can choose to tax yourself as a C corporation. However, one of the benefits to taxing yourself as an S corporation is eliminating the self-employment tax and being able to take a payroll tax deduction as a shareholder. If you have any questions on these five strategies that you can leverage as an LLC, feel free to schedule a free consultation with me by visiting the link in the bio. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so I can work on more videos like this for you to help you reduce your tax bill in real time. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.